ערב טוב, שלום לכולכם, אנא תפסו מקומות, אנא נתקו טלפונים. תחרות רובינשטיין ה-17 במוזיאון תל אביב, זהו המקצה השלישי והאחרון להיום, היום הרביעי לתחרות. שמענו כבר 21 מתמודדים, 33 מנגנים בסך הכל בשלב הראשון. לפנינו כעת עוד שניים. Ladies and gentlemen, the 17th Rubenstein competition in the Tel Aviv Museum of Art, Rekanati Hall, we're opening the uh, third session for today. 21 pianists have already played their recitals, and two more will play in this session. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the members of the jury. Chairman, Arie Vardi. From USA and Israel, Vice Chair Yochevet Kaplinski. From Poland, Vice Chair Katzina Popova Zidron. From Israel, Taisir Elias. From Canada and Germany, Yanina Fialkowska. From Japan, Noriko Ogawa. From United Kingdom, Ronan O'Hora. From USA, Robert Levin. From USA and Bulgaria, Emil Naumov. From China, Shauhan Wang. From Israel, Asaf Zohar. שופטי המחר שלנו, השופטים הצעירים, Junior Jury, From Israel, Danny Dvorkin, <laughs> Noah Kapeliushnik, <laughs> Lior Lifshitz, <laughs> Ophir Peres, <laughs> Amir Ron, <laughs> From Canada, Vivian Chen, <laughs> And from Ukraine, Tetiana Donets. בתוכניות לשלבים הראשונים המתחרים חופשיים לבחור את היצירות שלהם. הם מחויבים רק לבחור יצירה קלאסית אחת, יצירה רומנטית אחת ויצירה ישראלית אחת מתוך שלוש. הפעם מיצירות מרק לברי, טל חיים סמנון וירון גוטפריד. The competitors have a freedom of choice for their first and second stage recitals, but they have to include one classical piece, one romantic piece and one of three Israeli pieces. Hamitchare Harishon Bamikze Haze, the first and number 22 in the order of appearance, uh, the first in this session is Kevin Chen. He's 19, he's 18, 18 years old from Canada. And he will begin with the Israeli piece. Kevin chose to begin with La Folia, theme and variations, by Yaron Gottfried. היצירה לפוליה, נושא ווריאציות, תנוגן לראשונה בתחרות כעת. קווין will continue with סקריאבין, סונטה נאמבר 2, in G-Sharp Minor, אופוס 19, and conclude with ליסט, רמיניסנס דה נורמה, זיכרונות מנורמה. קבלו את קווין צ'ן.
באתי רק לומר לכם שיוצאים להפסקה, חוזרים לשמוע מתחרה נוסף, ואנחנו את השידור מעבירים אל גלריית מזנה רוזנטל, בלומנטל, <laughs> שמתקיימת בשיחה בהנחיית אריאל כהן. בבקשה. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Mizne Blumenthal Gallery at Tel Aviv Museum of Art. Uh, in our third session today, uh, we have one more pianist to go. And during the interval, uh, I have a very distinguished guest with me, Mr. Rob Hilberink. He's coming uh, from uh, the Netherlands. And uh, it's a long story to, tell, to say about you. But uh, uh, Rob is a director of the competition of uh, Liszt, Utrecht Liszt in Utrecht. And uh, this competition is not only for pianists, as we will hear in a minute. Uh, and Rob is also a, a board member of the International Federation of, uh, World Federation of uh, International Music Competitions. So we have a lot to discuss about competitions in general and about your competition particularly. So let's start with your competition. Uh, you brought a very nice present to our competition. Well, you didn't br bring it, but two of your winners of the last competition recently uh, are participating in this one, and you can to cheer them up. Wow. Yeah, well, we're very proud that they are here, you know, among these, this wonderful lineup of all these amazing pianists that are present here. And of course, you know, winning a different competition. As you see, there are many competition winners. Many members of the World Federation have winners up in this competition. And you know it, 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 it you know it, it, it's just always helpful you know when you win a competition, but every time you play for a different audience for a different jury, and it also means that every time you have to convince you know your audience again and uh, so I'm, we're, I'm thrilled that they're here and, and they played beautiful these last two days and uh, no I'm, I'm really proud it's nice that you came to, yes to, well. <laughs> to cheer them up and, and you stayed for the whole. You're staying for the whole first stage. Yes. Regrettably, you cannot stay more, longer. Yeah, well, <laughs> now let me ask you a provocative question. I know the answer, but it will maybe give you a chance to, to, to explain. Who needs this World Federation of International Music Competitions? Why do we need it? Well, that's, that's a, a very valid question, of course. Now, the World Federation is actually, it's a federation, so it means it's, it's, it's something that is run by the competitions themselves. So, a long time ago, a handful of very, you know, the most important competitions got together and thought, well, why don't we arrange more things together? Why don't we plan things together? Why don't we try, you know, to, to get our, all the competitions on a higher level? Uh, and since then, you know, the, com the, the federation has grown and we have now about 150 members. And, um, and these are, you know, all disciplines uh, from, from violin till guitar and everything in between. Uh, and it's only on a very high level, you know, you have to fulfill a lot of, of, of things to, to be able to be part of this federation. And, and the members among themselves vote for each new member to be part of this federation. And I think, you know, if you look at, at the last few years, you know, we, we, we try to really get a lot of things done. We, we put a, things on the agenda where we try to motivate our members, you know, to, to, to have, follow the same lines and the same kind of code of conduct, so, so we, we, we have high standards and, and we believe you know, that we're all trying to aim the same things. We, we, we want to help you know, this next generation of wonderful musicians into the world. So, so let's see, yeah. uh, uh, let's, let's talk in particular about yeah. a few things. Uh, one of the most important things for me is uh, the level of the, in the level of the competition is a few requirements such as uh, international jury, not only local jury. Yes. So this is a, a, a mandatory thing in order to, to become a member, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, you need to have at least seven jury members and at least majority needs to be from another country than the place where it's taking place. Then there is the question of uh, pupils of uh, jury members in the competition. What is the... Uh, view of the of the federation. Well, this. this is a good point, but um, you know, within the federation, the the the, the vision still differ in that this respect. Um, but we have set some some recommendations, and, and we recommend that um, jury members who have pupils in the competition 
refrain from voting, at least. Uh, and some competitions take it even further and say that um, they even may not take part in the competition uh, if one of the teachers is part of the jury. That's what's uh, true for our competition. Yes. Uh, you cannot take part if, if one of the jury members is your teacher. But if he was your past teacher, it's OK. But then he should not vote for you. Yep. And we calculate it accordingly. Uh, there, is, uh, there are other questions, of course, like uh, the new trend in the Federation in, in recent uh, months, uh, which is called denationalization. Yes. Uh, can you elaborate on this? Well, it, it's, it's, you know, the whole situation of the last few years with uh, where, where we, you know, first of all, you know, um, we saw what happened with, with the aggression of Russia in, in Ukraine. Um, and we wanted to make a stand as a federation is that we think, you know, a regime should be hold, hold accountable, but not its citizens. And that meant that um, uh, we feel, you know, especially young musicians, um, most of them, you know, who have just, a, for instance, a Russian nationality, should not be held, held accountable if they, you know, if they, if they condemn the, the, the regime and live abroad and these kind of things. So that started the whole discussion is like, how important is a nationalization a nation where where you're coming from for who you are as a person you know most of the musicians that are taking part in this competition they were born in one place then they moved and they studied somewhere and then they studied somewhere else and then maybe then now live in an, another country so you know these are citizens of the world and 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 we started to raise the question how important is it that we always uh, as competitions put in, uh, the, the, the nation of the participant directly after the name, you know, are they really representative of their country in a competition? And personally, you know, I don't think that way because, you know, I, I, when, I buy, when they win a competition and they become famous, you know, you never see Zhu Wang, United States, you know, I, I buy a ticket for, for Sokolov because it's Sokolov and not because he, the country he was born in. So we started this discussion now is maybe we should focus less on where these participants are coming from and more who they are as a person. You know, the difficulty here, I, I totally agree with this uh, view, but uh, the difficulty is that the audience and the journalists always ask you, where is this yeah. pianist from? Now, what do you answer? Is the passport uh, uh, telling you where is he from? Or if he lived 20 years in another country and he doesn't even feel uh, related or connected to his country of birth. So where is he from? Yeah. Well, and th this is something, you know, in my competition, I, I decided, we had a competition in September this year, we decided to not uh, mention the nations, but we, in, we had bullet points in their biography where we mentioned, you know, where they were born and where they studied and where they live. Um, but as you say, you know, we, we had the problem then with the media and it's like they wanted to know. Where are they from? And, and, and the audience were also, you know, asking these questions. So I feel, you know, there's still a long way to go, but I feel very confident in, in, in the way that we, we, we started to communicate. And what other people are telling about a person, that's up to them, of course, but, but we as a competition have decided to follow mm -hmm. this lead. And another thing that I must mention that the Federation is doing, which is very valuable in my view, is uh, what happens now with the, with the uh, Horowitz competition, which is supposed to happen in Kiev. Yes. So the Federation did a lot of efforts to bring this competition to Geneva uh, this year. Can you tell a little yes, bit about Yes, no, well, that? that was also one of the things that, you know, we as a Federation felt, you know, when a member is, is in need, um, we need to step up and make make it happen. And since there was no end in sight, we, we said, okay, well, let's try to organize or help to organize this competition in a different uh, place. And, and, and we're very happy that, that we got a lot of support. Uh, and it's now taking place in April in Geneva um, and with the help of the of the orchestra and, and, and the venue there. So that's it's fantastic. And did you have a, a normal amount of uh, registration or more or less? More, yeah. And, 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 and this is, you know, a, a real benefit. You know, we, we as a collective all put our efforts into promoting this event. And I think over 300 pianists applied. So that, that was a, a huge record for, for the Horowitz competition. So we, we're, we're very happy you know, to, to support our member. And now tell us about, a little bit about your competition, please. 
Well, you know, we, I organized two competitions. Uh, uh, we talked already about the, the List uh, Piano Competition, which is a, a, a piano competition uh, which was founded in 1986. Um, and um, uh, it, it's, it's uh, happening every three years, uh, like the Rubenstein. Um, and it's focusing mainly on Franz Liszt. Um, uh, and we have a, a, a very particular way of organizing it because, you know, we try to do with our competition is, is also to highlight different parts of the repertoire of Liszt every time. So um, in the last editions, we've every time focused on a composer through the eyes of Liszt because Liszt wrote hundreds of transcriptions. Of yes, and it has <laughs> thousands of pieces of, yes. of music. Um, and um, uh, so we, we've highlighted Beethoven, um, and, and in the last edition we highlighted Schubert. Uh, next edition we're going to highlight uh, Van Webern. So it, we, every time we're going to uh, highlight a different composer. Um, and then we have a di also a different competition in that sense than the Rubenstein is that um, what we do is we have a, a selection round, live selection round, a year prior to the competition. Um, and there we select a, a, a limited number of pianists, who, uh, 10 who were taking part in the competition, and they play in a festival-like way. So they, they play four recitals, uh, two solo recitals and two chamber music recitals before there is an elimination to the, the, the finals, which is of course with orchestra. So that's, that's one of my competitions. And then I started last year, well, last year was the first edition of a conducting competition in Rotterdam. It was eight years in the, in the planning, and this is actually follows a bit the same structure as the, as the list competition in that sense is also that it, um, it, we select a limited number of conductors, six, and these conductors are invited for two weeks, and in these two weeks, they work in five projects, and real projects. That means that in every project they have multiple rehearsals and a concert. Uh, with different orchestras, um, so each round is a, has a different uh, specialism. So there's a, a contemporary music round uh, with the Klang Forum Vienna, and then there is a historically informed round where they play classical music with the uh, Orchestra of 18th Century, and there's an opera round, and there's a large symphonic round with the Rotterdam Philharmonic Orchestra, and uh, there's also a promenade concert, which is an outside concert. So, it, but you know, we started this competition because for a conductor, it's, it's so difficult. Um, you know, you, you study an instrument and you have to wait to practice uh, your instrument until you're on stage. It's like, you know, when you're a pianist and, uh, and, and you, you just study the scores and the first time you play your instrument is in the competition on stage. So, that's, uh, so we felt like, you know, when we start to do this competition, it should have a lot of stage time because, you know, usually they don't have time to work with high level orchestra. So now we give them about 10 hours in this competition each to work with orchestras. It sounds very complicated, this it's, competition. Yes. Much more complicated than a piano competition, isn't well, it? It's like five, uh, running five finals of a competition in, in, <laughs> in one week. So that's, it's, Not it's, to it's, mention the expenses, uh, working with uh, so many orchestras and so much rehearsing time. Well, we, we, we are very lucky that, that uh, all the orchestras that are involved, you know, want to be involved because, you know, they also feel the necessity to work with young conductors. How so do you finance your competitions? Do you get government support or uh, donations? No, we don't get government support. Nothing? So, uh, no, it's, it's private foundations and, uh, and, uh, and private donations, yeah. And, and you, you succeed in maintaining it? It's always a struggle, as you know, and then every, every edition is, uh, is uh, you know, again, scraping for the money, but uh, it, uh, we have been fortunate uh, to be holding it uh, for a long time already, yeah. Well, Rob, I wish you success. Thank you very much. You personally, much. your competitions and the Federation success, especially with the, Horowitz, with the coming Horowitz competition in April, and it was wonderful to have you us with, uh, here with us uh, during this first stage, and I'll see you in the future, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Yes. And now we uh, return, we'll hear some music and then uh, we'll return to the hall. Thank you.
שבנו, תפסו מקומות, קבעו טלפונים, אני יודעת שזה חוזר על עצמו, אבל זה חוזר על עצמו וזה חשוב. אנחנו בסיום המקצה ובסיום הערב עם מתחרה מספר 23, Ladies and Gentlemen, Competitor number 23, איתמר פראג. 28 years old from Israel. Itamar will play Beethoven Sonata No. 21 in C major, Opus 53, Waldstein, and Liszt, Hungarian Rhapsody No. 12 in C sharp major, Searle 244. Kablu et Itamar Prague.